hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be doing some mathematics we'll be focusing on algebra to be specific so some of the examples that we can attach on they both apply to grade 10 grade 9 11 and 12 so i know a lot has been happening so we're gonna have to be preparing for the exams right so we're gonna go by question one so question one says factorize each of the flowing so I've already written my number A, which is five, which is five X to the exponent two minus 23 X minus 10. So the first thing that you're gonna do when you hear factorize, you're gonna think of the bracket. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna multiply coefficient with the constant value. So our coefficient is 5 and our value is 10 right so we're gonna say 5 multiplied by negative 10 is equal to negative 50 right okay so because now we have 50 we're gonna say we're gonna write it to the side so the product of 50, it starts with 50 times 1, which is equals to 50, right? Then we're going to get 25 multiplied by 2, which is 50, right? Okay. So now that we have, we, we, we now that we know that our middle value is 23, right? And this kind of make 23 because so now that we know that we're looking for 23 and it kind of makes us with 25 minus 2 is equals to 23 so because here it's a negative we're gonna start with negative 25 plus 2 it makes negative 23 right which is our middle value here so now that we know our middle value it, it can be negative 25 plus 2 we're gonna write it this way it's gonna be okay gonna be like 5 x squared minus 25 which is this one with x plus 2 x which is just 2 minus our 10 our 10 right so now we're gonna start looking for the common factor what is what is common with this 2 is that 5 is common 5 goes into 25 5 goes into 25 5 times right so 5 is common and x also is common because x we have x in the both side so our x is common so now we're gonna be what is what is the remaining here it's our x minus how many times does 5 goes into 25 it goes 5 times so we're gonna be having 5 we're gonna write down our 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 positive value so now we're gonna check which one is common within the two is two right so we're gonna write down our x so how many two how many times the two goes into ten it goes five times right gonna be negative five so so now we have two pairs that they look common so we're gonna write down one x minus five then on the other side we're gonna write this to 5x plus 2 so so this is our answer we have factorized number a right so now that we have solved our a we're gonna move to b so our b says 5x squared minus 45 so this is how we're gonna solve this one 
this one is quite easy but i'm gonna show you how it's been solved so with this one so with this one we're gonna look for our common our common factor right so our common factor between the two is five so our common factor between the two is five so we're going to be remaining with x squared which is remaining here minus how many times does five goes into 49 into 45 sorry into 45 it goes nine times okay so now that we have found our common factor we're gonna now differentiate the two squares so now we're gonna write our five here open a bigger bracket open a smaller bracket so okay this way so x we have two x's right so we're gonna write down our x we're gonna write our negative then on the other side we're gonna write positive so we're gonna write down our three then we're gonna write our three when you multiply x to x it makes x squared when you multiply three by three it makes nine right so yeah there we go we have factorized our b so moving to our third question which says 6x to the exponent 3 minus 13x to the exponent 2 plus 5x right so the first thing that you're going to do you're going to look for the common factor so in both our i values we have x right so we're going to write down we're going to write down our x and open a bigger bracket and we can now um, we we're gonna write down 6x so now because we have removed 1x from here we are remaining with 2 minus 13 we have removed 1x from this one so now we are remaining with the 1x plus 5 so here we have removed the x right so now we're going to choose our bracket so now moving to the next step we're going to factorize making use of trinomial factorizing so we're going to rewrite our x open our bigger bracket so this one is similar to our first question whereby whereby we're going to take our our coefficient of x squared with our constant value so here our coefficient is six is six i'm just going to write it on the side it's six right positive six which is here positive six multiply by positive five which multiply by positive five which gives us 30 right so now that we know that we have 30 we're gonna look for the product of 30 so we can write it here and say 30 right then say 30 multiplied by 1 30 multiplied by 1 is equal to 30 instead of that so we're gonna be like 10 multiplied by 3 right so we're looking for 13 so it kind of make easy when i do this way instead of doing 30 multiplied by one so so multiplied by two you get what i mean so we're gonna have our 10 multiplied by three which gives us 30 and also 10 minus 10 plus three it gives us 13 right so now that we're looking for our negative 13 we're gonna make both values negative right yeah so we're gonna be negative 10 minus negative 3 which gives us negative 13 right 
So we're gonna write down our 6x squared minus 3x. You can write either way. You can write 10x first or you can write 3x. So I'm gonna go with 3x so I can make use of this to look for the common factor in this too. So minus 10x plus 5, right? bigger bracket don't forget the 5 is our 5 here so we're going to rewrite out our x and then between the two we have 3x which is common then on this side we're going to be remaining with we can be remaining with 2x multiply I'm sorry 2x negative one right the reason why we have one is because this has been replaced so if you say 3x multiply by negative one is going to give you 3x right so on this one we're gonna have what is common here is going to be have a negative five open bracket we're gonna have two 5 goes into 10 two times, right? So we're going to rewrite our x here. Negative 1. Close the bracket. The reason why we have our negative 1 is because negative multiply by negative, it makes positive. And 5 multiply by 1, it makes 5, right? So yes, we are good to go. So now that we have our, 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 the pairs that are common here, we're going to rewrite one. But first, we're going to say x, open our bracket, rewrite our one, bracket, 2x minus 1. So now we have 3x, 3x minus 5, close the bracket, and a bigger bracket. So yeah. There's our final steps. So don't forget that we use a trinomial factorizing to get our product here. So yeah, we're gonna move to our next question.